Breakfast Club, bitches. You can call me the donkey of the day, but, like, I mean no harm. Yeah, it's donkey of the day for Friday, September 16th. Goes to an unnamed patient in India who had to be hospitalized after allegedly shoving a deodorant canister up his ass. Okay? Where it remained for three weeks before doctors removed it. It's Freaky, Freaky, Freaky Friday! I'm not making this up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, a man shoved the eight-inch deodorant can up his butt and left it there for three weeks. Either two things are happening here. <laughs> this man was extra horny or extra stink. Okay, do you know how fed up you got to be with the smell of your own ass to just shove a deodorant can up it and leave it there for three weeks? All right, this man must have gotten caught. Stink ass, funky ass, musty ass. Somebody must have told him to go wash his ass so many times that he decided the only way to course correct the problem was to stick a can of deodorant up his butt. All right, you got to understand, <laughs> whoever made any of these products first, whether it was soap, deodorant, douche, they were absolutely fed up with how humans on this planet were smelling at the time. All right, that simply just had to be the inspiration. So when someone takes one of these products and sticks it up their ass, I repeat, it's either because they stink as hell or they extra horny, and it could be that he was extra horny because it is some extra horny people on this planet, and he might be one of them. Is this what the world has come to? Uh, imagine sticking some dub deodorant up your ass, you know, you know, just, just, just imagine. You know what I'm saying? Men are out here on this planet sticking cans of deodorant up their ass for what? All right, Secret has actually created a new campaign slogan, and that slogan is strong enough for a man but made for those who want to be penetrated like a woman. Okay, what kind of choices do you make before you stick a can of deodorant up your rectum? Do you think to yourself, hmm, aluminum versus no aluminum, aluminum, uh, traditional versus natural? natural? Clearly his format uh, choice is can. All right, the roll-up stick probably a little too wide. Now, doctors conducted several x-rays, which revealed that the young man had a seven and a half inch deodorant can lodged in his colon near his anus. Doctors believe that he put the antiperspirant up his anus, but his reasons for giving himself the D and the D being deodorant are unknown. I really have to know what brand it was. Okay, because what if it was degree? If it was degree, I have a marketing idea. They can do six inch cans. Okay, because seven and a half to eight inches that just seems massive, okay? That's actually my penis measurements. But instead of that, just do a nice six inch can of Degree. And the slogan can be Degree Six Inch Spray for anyone in need of six degrees of penetration. Okay, the deodorant business is missing a lot of money, man, because clearly it's a new way to use deodorant. By the way, this might be the way they have always been using deodorant. We just didn't know, but guess what? It's not a secret anymore, okay? It used to be three types of deodorants, roll on, stick, or spray. Now it's roll on, stick, and gay. Matter of fact, what exactly does stick mean nowadays when we are talking deodorant? We're really interviewing the wrong people on this show because I want to talk to this guy, all right? I have questions. The more I read this article, I see doctors have shot down my sticking the deodorant up his ass because he had a smelly bum theory, all right? They ruled that out. And doctors had to cut open this man's stomach to get the silver spray can of deodorant out. Oh, mm. it was a spray can. Oh. They don't sell dildos in India? Huh? Man, get this man out of here so we can send him a care package from Doc Johnson. We still got the Doc Johnson Connect. I have some stuff right here. Yeah, we got to send him something. We're going to send you the dildo that sticks to the wall so you can back that thing up and city boy on that D. How you know All about right? that? What do you mean? He tried it. <laughs> Never tried it. I got eyes. I read. I have no idea what brand of deodorant this is. I've never seen this brand in my life. It's like silver. It might be Old Spice. No, it's not Old Spice. I'm just more impressed that this can stayed in his ass for 20 days, all right? <laughs> he wasn't able to poop, all right? Okay, but what's impressive is this spray can is clean. I would think this spray can would come out messier than a newborn baby, just doo-doo everywhere. But that is not the case, unless they wiped it off before they took a pic with it. You know, this is why podcasts like Horrible Decisions and Lip Service are important. You got to stop shaming people for their kinks, all right? Men want things up their butt and are scared to get it the real way for fear of judgment. All right, now this man has damage to both his esophagus and intestines, which doctors say will require surgery in the future, and he will need to be monitored by doctors for the next seven days in case of further complications, all because y'all got this man scared to be who he is. With all that said, please give the young man in India who stuck that spray can of deodorant up his ass the biggest hee-haw. <coughs> you got dildos and penises and... What Women else? or man's fingers mm -hmm. and anal beads, all types of things you could stick up your ass, but you're using deodorant. Knock it off, my guy. Hmm. All right. All right. Fruits, vegetables. 
Nah, that's just, you know what? Why you waste the good fruit? Or you could eat it yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, especially if you don't, like if you do the banana and don't peel it. Mm-hmm. A cucumber, <laughs> you could just then, use it for flavoring. Mm. Did the guy give a reason or no? No, there's no reason. Maybe it was, it's Friday. He was about to get ready for tonight and was just. Mm, still not a good excuse. Expanding and getting his. He got sex ready. toys for that. Maybe he doesn't have sex You know, toys. vicious. <laughs> Don't make me re Wait till we do this Breakfast Club documentary. That's definitely going to be in there. You remember Vicious, she? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I hate y'all. <laughs> well, how long you know was it? And Gia, actually, come give me a hug. Envy's come wife give me a hug. also did co-sign tell us how, that. Tell us how big it was, right? Yes, Gia did. Yes, go watch the interview Gia did on Breakfast Club. Gia <laughs> absolutely <laughs> confirmed it. Give me a hug. Come here, Vicious. I'm always down to hug Vicious. Let me Google Envy Dildo. I'm going to let you hug me from the no, back. I'm not hugging you from the back. What you mean? I'm not hugging you from the back. Hug me from no, the back. I'm not hugging you from the back. Envy, this is so crazy. I just want to say something. I just Googled Envy and Dildo. I did not know you had a video on XNXX.com. Now, don't do that, G. Come on now. I don't even know what that is. Wow. He just makes stuff up. No, Google it. Envy Dildo. Is. God damn it, G. You know I'm about to Google this. How you, why would you say that? It says <laughs> right here, XNXX.com, Envy Dildo. And then it says Envy Dildo F and Shower. That's on TNA. No, it doesn't. It says dildo envy. Like the average dildo size. Compared. No, no, no. Go down. Go down to like the fifth. <laughs> go down to the fifth um, search. The average says envy dildo, dildo size compared to the oh, average penis. Goodness. I googled envy dildo, and a bunch of articles come up of people who men who are jealous of dildo. You got to do all, not news. You got to see. Oh, and then it has DJ Envy. You take a dildo, but can't take a joke. That was Jesus. <laughs> You said that? Jesus said that? Jesus is a man. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he doesn't read. <laughs> when did Jesus say that? He doesn't read. Was that after oh the Oh, my gosh. DJ, this is in Rolling Out. DJ and me got caught in a racy Snapchat Envy, scandal. I ain't do all of this. I just told everybody we was doing a documentary. I ain't say all this. <laughs> just, just, let it, just let it go. I was the going, damning part came wild. when Envy allegedly told the woman that he enjoys anal penetration with a nine and a half inch dildo on a regular basis. <laughs> when is she leaving? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be leaving, didn't we? <laughs> Did we say goodbye to you already? <laughs> didn't we say goodbye to you already? <laughs> we just had a whole show. <laughs> Angela Yee is leaving. Why are you still here? You still like, uptight, Emmy. Why don't you get a dildo and relax? Just, we just had a whole show. <laughs> Angela Yee is leaving. We celebrated. We got you food. And you ain't leaving yet. You know what? We <laughs> should... Stop, man. Oh, stop. my gosh. Oh, y'all, stop. Go to There's commercial, There's so man. much. If you, you guys are commercial. looking up Emmy Dildo, go to page oh. five. When are you leaving? Eddie, why you ain't going to commercial? It's the man. Breakfast Club. Good morning. Where's she this leaving? Voluptuous crazy. Envy. Donkey Today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. 